As you all know, we are currently in the midst of June, which is Pride Month. Now, what is Pride Month? It's the month where we celebrate the LGBT community. Now, what does LGBT stand for? Does anyone remember? That's right, it stands for LuLaRoe, Girl Boss, Boss Babe, and Tupperware. Just this past Wednesday, we covered Girl Defines turning into Girl Bosses as one of the sisters, Bethany, decided to take on a course selling adventure. That was the G for Girl Boss. Today Today we're going to take on the B for Boss Babe. And do I have the perfect business to cover today? It's actually called Boss Babe. It's actually what it's called. Hit you some nuts. There was lots of memes. Makes me wonder if I should take up lesbianism. Chicago. You guys asked for it. What's up, my fellow small business supporters? I'm Savvy, and welcome back to Savvy Writes Books, the channel where we talk about books and business. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe because every Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time, I put out new videos about books and business. And I also do that other times throughout the rest of the week as well. So don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notifications button so you get notified every time I have a new video come out, which is pretty frequently lately. There's a lot to unpack in society. Before I start covering a business about how to be a boss babe, I I need to quickly be a boss babe myself and make a little money from home. The reason I'm making a little money from home right now is that today's video has a sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon, a high protein cereal that I've been eating and loving for months now. 2022 has been a really busy year for me. As you may have noticed, I've increased the frequency of my YouTube uploads, plus I'm currently in the process of launching a new character for my small business, Forever Home Friends. Combine that with the fact that I'm working on a couple new books right now, and yeah, I haven't had a ton of time for figuring out my meals and cooking meals every day. But for the past few months, I haven't really had to worry about breakfast. Magic Spoon cereal has basically become a staple each day, and it always makes me feel energized to tackle my workday ahead. Ever since I started eating Magic Spoon cereal, in January, my favorite flavor has been the cinnamon one, although the fruity flavor is a close second, and I've been loving the maple waffle and cookies and cream flavors as well. Guys, I just really like cereal. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs per serving. Each cereal has zero grams of sugar per serving other than the honey nut flavor, which has one gram of sugar per serving because of the real honey they use to make it. Each serving only has about 140 calories as well, and the these cereals are keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. So click on my link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal. You can build your very own variety box and use my code SAVVY for $5 off. You can choose from some of the best-selling flavors, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry muffin, and cinnamon roll. Magic Spoon has also recently added the honey nut flavor to their permanent collection, and guys, it's delicious, so you can check out that one for your box as well. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use my code SAVVY for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com SAVVY to save $5 on your order today. And be sure to check out that new honey nut flavor if you're interested in that one, guys. And if you guys are in Canada or in the UK, Magic Spoon cereals are now shipping there as well as to the US. Thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I first came across this business called Boss Babe when I I received the free training from Jenna Kutcher's course. Now, next week, I am going to be going over Jenna Kutcher's free training and Instagram courses and all those kinds of things that I got to take because I pre-ordered her book and she gave it to you as a free gift. Although someone in one of my comments pointed out that you could just type in random numbers and it would still send you the free gift. So I don't know. I didn't try it. You guys can try whatever you want. I don't know if it works or not. But anyway, I pre-ordered her book, which I will be reviewing. And one of the gifts that I got with that was a free webinar where she brings together lots of different business gurus and boss babes and boss bros. I believe there are men as well. She brings together a bunch of different people to give us business advice on how they got rich giving other people business advice. Totally not a pyramid whatsoever. I noticed that one of the names listed there was a woman named Danielle Canty, who is the CEO of a company called boss babe. And I thought, wow, a company called boss babe, that almost sounds too good to be true. So I decided we would look into it live on a video together. Let's go. When you go to bossbabe.com, the first thing that comes up is this little pop-up that says free live training. When is that? Thir June 23rd and 24th. Oh, that's like next week. Maybe I'll attend this. If it's free, I'll attend it. I'll make a reaction. Okay. 
Hold on, let me reserve my spot. My step-by-step -step guide to making my first $10,000 is that in revenue or profit? Because I've been a business owner for almost five years and I made my first $10,000 in the first year. In revenue, not in profit, because I only had a net positive of $35 that year <laughs> because I had so many uh, beginning your business expenses. It also says, and what the F to do after that? Take the guesswork out of how to make more money, whether you're looking to start your side hustle or grow your business. But if you're saying, uh, if you're talking about growing my business, you said my first $10,000. That sounds like starting. I don't know, you know what? I can't judge this until I've actually taken the course, so let's do it. Let's go down here to reserve my free spot. Limited spots available, be sure to claim yours now. There are no limited spots available, don't lie to me. If this is a webinar, which is probably gonna be a pre-recorded webinar, there are absolutely no, 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 no. That's false scarcity, you're giving me false scarcity, Danielle, stop it. Now it says it's about how to make $10,000 in the next 30 days. I thought you said my first $10,000. Now you're saying $10,000 in 30 days. Those are two very different things. If I could be making $10,000 in 30 days, this would be a very different world. You know what, let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. It's official, your spot is saved. You should receive a confirmation e email from us. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna be attending that. But in the meantime, I need to go back to bossbabe.com so that I can tell you guys what this company even is in the first place. That was the first thing that popped up. They got me with that. They got me with the pop-up. I guess that's the first lesson I learned from bossbabe.com is to always have pop-ups on my website. I believe I do actually. Let's check it out. Here we go. Foreverhomefriends.com. Yep, I've got it. Subscribe for pup dates. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It worked. All right. So if you guys, when you guys go to foreverhomefriends.com, you'll get a pop-up and you can sign up for my email list. All right. Now back to bossbabe.com. Oh, excuse me, I already signed up. You don't need it. Okay, thank you. The online community every ambitious woman wants and needs to be a part of. Become a member. Okay, so this is a community to learn how to be a boss babe. Let's look at about first. The boss babe story. We're going to dive into each of the two women who founded boss babe. We're going to dive into their backstory in just a minute. Boss Babe is the online community every ambitious woman wants and needs to be a part of. I guess I am the B from LGBT, which means I must be a boss babe. Less than 18% of women hit six figures in their business and only 2% reach the seven figure mark. We're on a mission to change that. Okay, wait, first of all, is this a question? Because you said less than 18% of women hit six figures in their business and only 2% reach the seven figure mark. Are these verbs in the indicative or interrogative mood? I need to know that. Second of all, you're, you're asking this as a question. So are you saying you don't know this? Are you asking me to confirm that for you? Because this is your website. You're supposed to be telling me things. I shouldn't be having to confirm things for you. Second of all, why does it matter who hits the seven figure mark? This is the thing. This is the thing that I actually talked about in my business book, Savvy Business Owner. Not every business needs to be a huge business. Not every goal has to be making a seven figure income. If you run a business, let, let's say you run a business that you are the only person who runs it. Let's say it's a, either a sole proprietorship or if you're in the US, maybe you run an LLC, but you're the only person who's, you know, the owner of it, right? And you don't have any payroll employees. Maybe you hire people for contract work, but don't have payroll employees. Let's say that that's what you have and your expenses are enough that in profit, you're bringing in enough money to cover your living expenses and it's sustainable for you to continue to do that. There's no requirement requirement that your business has to keep getting bigger unless you're publicly traded or something and you need to work for investors but if you're not a giant business if you don't have investors and you like there's no reason you have to do that I think that's this weird lie that we keep getting sold that starting your own business has to be about getting rich it absolutely doesn't starting your own business can be about making enough money to sustain yourself doing the thing that you like doing or doing the thing that you think is bringing value to the world I do not make six figures figures on my business Forever Home Friends. I've talked about my business before. I run a company that produces plushies and books based on real rescue dogs and their stories of getting adopted and we're now adding a cat. My passion for that business comes from the fact that I love writing books. I love working with toys. I love, you know, creating worlds that have books and toys together. I love the American Girl Company. I love all the, you guys can see my background. I have toys everywhere. I have a puppet back there. I love the books and toys world and everything about that. It gets me excited. It gets me fired up. And I'm also passionate about dogs and about animal welfare in general and promoting being kind to animals and adopting and things like that. So I created this company because that's the mission that I care about spreading. And my only goal with that business is to make enough that I can pay everyone I need to pay a fair wage to get their job done 
and that for me to also make enough that I can cover my expenses as a person so that I don't have to work another job on. It's this very corporate culture of if you're not growing, you're stagnating. If you're not growing, you're slowing down. And I think that's such a harmful message to have because it doesn't have to be that way. It absolutely doesn't have to be that way. I guess that depends how you're also calculating the averages because you're, you'll have big businesses where you have to, to spend a lot more towards the beginning, like starting up a restaurant or something like that versus starting like an online Etsy shop where you're, or like maybe a graphic design service or something where your initial costs might be lower, right? So there's a lot more factors to take into consideration here. It's not just about businesses in general make six figures, seven figures. These businesses in general aren't making this much money. What kind of business? What price are they selling the products at? How many employees do they have? Do they need to be bringing in that much money? How many people are on payroll in the first place? Like there's a lot to consider there. So a business not making six figures is not inherently bad. Over the past three years, we've helped over a hundred thousand ambitious women just like you build lives they love through our close knit community, proven frameworks and high value programs. Now it's your turn to experience the same thing. The only question is, are you ready? I mean, my only question is how much does this cost? But let's click work with us. Although I still haven't, I'm not clear on what you're selling from this page, the boss babe story. This is not a story. You haven't told us any story. All you've told us is that you want me to make more figures in my income. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Here's the bios of the people involved. Natalie Ellis is the co-founder and CEO of Boss Babe. Natalie has been featured in major publications like Forbes Inc. An entrepreneur for her efforts and has been invited to speak on stages all around the world. She is a social media expert and has grown the Boss Babe Instagram account to over 3 million followers in just three years. And from that following has generated multiple seven figures of revenue. You can find the grounded Capricorn at home with her husband, Steven and Pomeranian Nala making a matcha latte with added collagen, of course, and reading a book on her Kindle. Okay, there's nothing wrong with any of those hobbies, but it was just like, how many blonde white girl boss stereotypes could you shove into one sentence? I like Pomeranians though, I think they're cute. And I also read lots of books on my Kindle. And I'm also a blonde white lady who owns a business. Become a social media pro with Natalie. Join Natalie's six figure training. Is this the one I already signed up for or is this a different one? And this takes me to clickfunnels.com. All right, now let's look at Danielle Canty, the other founder. I will say I do like her jacket. As co-founder and president at Boss Babe, Danielle is the left brain of the business. After selling her primary healthcare company in the UK, Danielle moved to Los Angeles to join Natalie and grow Boss Babe into a household name. In her spare time, Danielle likes to take beach walks, make lists on her balcony with a cup of freshly ground coffee and organize her travel toiletry bag. How very Virgo. I don't know. I've been told that I'm a Virgo because my birthday is September 8th. I don't know shit about astrology, okay, you guys? Um, I like drinking coffee. I like walking on the beach only if Tyler takes a picture of me so I can show off my muscles in my bikini and make Boss Babe Instagram captions for more attention online. I hate organizing my travel toiletry bag. I hate organizing anything. I'm actually a very unorganized person. Have you seen my office? Boss Babe. Now we're just learning about Natalie and Danielle. Favorite workout... Danielle's favorite workout is gym workouts. That's not a workout. What Your favorite workout is gym workouts. <laughs> my favorite workout is when I exercise. <laughs> What's my favorite workout? I like the straight leg deadlift. I think that's fun. I like anything where I can brag about how much weight I just picked up. I, I like doing bicep curls. I know they're super basic, but like, I love them. I just think they're fun and I think I look hot while I do them. But anyway, I have more workouts that I like than just gym workouts. I just like gym workouts. Girl, what? Okay, so I still don't know what they're selling. <laughs> After all of this, I don't know what they're, what are you selling? Is it just training? Is it just training? Your business is training me how to run my business? I'm very confused. Let's look at programs, perhaps. Oh, shop. That's where I'll know what they're selling if I shop. Oh, it's courses. <laughs> of course it's courses. It's always courses with these people. The startup lab, websites, templates, branding, everything you need to bring your startup to life. Okay. Here's my question to anyone who's selling an online course. Did you study education? Where did you study education? What are some of your, you know, philosophies about educating people? What are your goals for your students? And is your course interactive? Those are the things I want to know from someone who runs a course because I have worked in education. I studied uh, teaching literature as part of my graduate program in writing and publishing. I also took a class where I studied, there was like a tutoring type of pedagogy class that I took. In addition to that, I used to work as a substitute teacher and I worked as a creative writing teacher for about three years. So I have a lot of education experience, but I would not consider myself on par with a certified public school teacher because that's 
different yet again. And then there's also people who have expertise in instructional design when it comes to creating online learning materials for other people, which is yet again another specific skill. If you want to put some of those specific skills together and create something that's really going to be of value to your customer, that's wonderful. But I feel like a lot of people who don't actually give a shit about education whatsoever put together a course when really what they should be putting together is a book or a video or another product that is a way of consolidating information, but they want to sell it at the price of selling you a class, yet there are no actual class benefits to it. There are no class benefits in terms of like interacting with other students. Maybe there's a Facebook group in some of these, but it's never like you get feedback from the professor. They give you feedback on an assignment that you do and you learn what you need to do to continue growing. There usually isn't much one-on-one -on -one mentorship or even interaction at all whatsoever. A lot of the times it's just resources that they give you, but they want to upsell you. That's why I really hate courses online. Now, it doesn't mean I hate every online course. Is this the only thing they're selling? I'm so confused. For some boss babes, you're really unclear on what I'm actually supposed to be paying you for. We are Brand Up, a digitally focused creative agency that builds scalable and impactful brands. Okay, I didn't know this was an ampersand at first. I thought that was a weird looking S and I could not figure out what this word was. I thought it was simple and then I thought it was s like sim simp like simpac sympathetic. I thought it was like something like that. I was really confused. They're just selling website templates. Is that what it is? That's what Boss Babe is selling? That's all that's in the shop? I'm really lost. Okay, let's look at programs. Of course, it's always got to be super vague what's being sold. I like this headline, Become a Boss Babe. I like that they don't capitalize the name of their own business, but they do capitalize the article. Normally in titles, you don't capitalize an article, but you do capitalize a noun. You always capitalize nouns and verbs. Even if the verb is small, some people think you don't need to capitalize the word is in a title. You do need to capitalize the word is, but you don't, just because a word is two letters doesn't mean you don't need to capitalize it if it's a verb. You don't ever need to capitalize an article. So I don't know why they framed it like this other than to look strange to get my attention maybe? Or maybe just no one edited the site. We've helped over 100,000 ambitious women just like you build lives they love through our close-knit community, proven frameworks, and high-value development programs. Okay, develop, so this is courses. The Societe. Soci am I saying that right? Societe. The place where ambitious connect, build, and grow. Get all the resources you need to start and scale your business, grow your career, and make more money doing what you love. All inside a community of badass women who get it because they're doing the exact same thing. So what resources? Do I have to become a member to even find out what resources I'm getting? Okay, it looks like this is the Societe page. I can, uh, I can take a little tour. Is this a video? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take a tour. What good is an idea if you don't feel confident enough to pursue it? When you're preparing to win, you need five basic things. An end game, a goal, a plan, daily commitment, and a winning mindset. We cannot talk enough about how important this is. If you get these right, you can actually triple your downloads. Okay, we're like almost a quarter of the way through this video and all I've learned is that I need to do things and actually do my job to grow my business. What, what are you selling me? The entrepreneurs and sales professionals that kept having success and kept building customer trust and repeat purchase statistics and the ones that made it over the long run to build a true brand and build something that lasts, they all have one thing in common. I'm gonna be your social media manager and I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know. Okay, so we're halfway through the video and I still don't even know what they're selling. This is supposed to be the tour for me to decide if I wanna buy this membership to the Societe. And I don't even know what is in the Societe. Is it supposed to be like we live in a society? <laughs> is it that meme? Okay, so now she's telling me about social media. I have a lot of social media. You guys can follow me on Instagram. It's right there. My Instagram and Twitter. Follow me there. And uh, I'm post more bikini pics because I'm trying to go viral with Jenna Kutcher's Instagram course. To crush it on social media and take part in this emerging economy that's about to seriously explode. So like joining the society. Oh, it is just society. It's not societe. Then why'd you spell it like that? Just to be quirky? Best friends. You could get clients. You could... I already have a best friend. Learn, you could learn stuff that you don't even know. At this point, you've got clients in the society, you've got team yeah. members in the society. Okay, so it looks like you get a boss babe masterclass, you get events, which looks like just like virtual Zoom conferences. When I take their, uh, when I take their thing next week, 
their free training that I'm going to get next week, and then I'll react to it the week after that. I'll put up a video of, like, two weeks from now after I take it. I'll let you know how it is. Friends, this is Saturday. Yeah. Okay, I'm hearing you. As a side hustle. Okay, so you get access to the community. So it looks like business owner resources you get, and you pay $48, what, per month? Or total, or what? Let's find out. That's your full-time job. Then you went on to meet your business bestie. You formed a business together. I already have a best friend and a business bestie. My business best friend is named RK. We run a show together called Your Morning Guru. You can check it out. It's next to, it's right there next to <laughs> my Instagram and Twitter handle. We stream live every morning at 7 a.m. Central on my second channel, linked below. <laughs> I mean, I can't even, $600,000. <laughs> Absolutely insane. You made $600,000, there's no guarantee I'm gonna make that. So, so what is the society, sorry, the society? We live in the society. <laughs> we live in a society. What is the society and how can we support you? Okay, it looks like a workbook, some t tech tutorials. Okay, tech tutorials might actually be valuable. Education, the roadmap, you, you need to make your first $10,000. I thought you were gonna teach me how to make my first $10,000 in the free webinar training. Now you're telling me I'm gonna learn it in this paid course? Stop teasing me. Apply to our proven six pillar framework to grow your business. What are the pillars? The pillars are mindset, purpose, audience, revenue, systems, and growth. They're so vague. Like the way we feel creates the thoughts we think which dictate the actions we take. So the first pillar of running a business is that you have to have thoughts in your head. If you don't have any thoughts in your head whatsoever, if you're going no thoughts, head empty all day, or if you're like unconscious because you're sleeping the whole time, you probably won't be able to grow your business because you won't be thinking anything. And growing a business requires that you think thoughts. Purpose. You'll discover your superpowers and how to use them to create a profitable online business. You'll define your product or service, conduct competitive analysis, and learn exactly how to stand out from the crowd. So if your business doesn't serve any purpose, you're not going to sell anything. Because if you, your business doesn't have a purpose, like if you don't have anybody that needs the thing you're selling, then you... Which is kind of interesting because who needs what they're selling? What are they selling? Learn how to cultivate a community that know, like, and trust enough to buy... For, okay, audience... This one's actually important. I think purpose and audience are important to define early on in growing a business. I actually agree with all jokes aside. I actually do agree with that. I think it is important to define your purpose and audience early on. In growth, we'll focus on personal as well as professional development because your business can only grow as much as you do. Live, learn, and lead like a boss, babe. Oh, is that the L? Is this erasure? LGBT. LuLaRoe girl boss boss babe Tupperware. You want to change the L from LuLaRoe to live, learn, and lead. Someone call Deanne and Diane because there's some LuLaRoe erasure going on here. Okay, then oh, it looks like you get business courses. Oh my god, every course is said to have a 909. Oh my god, everything. This is the thing when I'm gonna be taking Jenna Kutcher's course for next week. She said her course has a $997 value. Of course, this one also has a $997 value. This one has a $799 value, so she just kind of <laughs> flipped the numbers around a little bit. She just flipped the numbers backwards and placed the text in the middle of the screen. That's cool. This one also has a $997 value. Every course has a $997 value. How else could you price a course but at $997? What makes these worth $997? Is that what people, do they sell them for this price outside of this? Also, why does this living room in her background look exactly like Rachel Hollis's living room in the uh, Made for More documentary background? Do, do they, these people just rent out each other's living rooms? Okay, these were plus signs. I thought I could click on them to, to drop down more, but apparently not. That's just how they do bullet points here. Okay, this tour is actually better than I thought at first. That video was just really stupid, but now this tour is actually giving me, okay, group coaching sessions, accountability, you get, let's say, we notice you might need some extra help hitting your goals this month. How could we assist? It's like Clippy from Microsoft Office or the little Duolingo bird pops up and it's like, hey, I noticed you're not making any money, you fucking loser. How can I help? <laughs> Officially celebrating hitting the $50,000 milestone in my business. I thought you said I had to make six figures. $50,000 is five figures, which again, I think is a great milestone to celebrate. They're the ones who brought up the six figure thing. I've doubled my Instagram followers to 5,200. 
I mean, that's cool. Since I joined the program, I signed 20 new clients and it has generated $7,144. That's four figures, okay? You said the first $10,000. You said that I was gonna make my first $10,000 in 30 days. And this person is saying that they made $7,144. That's less than $10,000. And they're a financial coach. This person's business is being a financial coach. So you should know as a financial coach, Rachel, whose name is not Rachel, it is Rachel in the Boss Babe font that nobody can fucking read. So Rachel, you should know as a financial coach that 7,144 is less than 10,000. Ready to start? Let's go. All right, so I can either pay $48 a month or $38 a month if I sign up for a whole year at once. So that's the society. What else did I got? Online launch school. It's $997. They always ended in a seven. We've talked about this before. It always ends in a seven. Online Launch School, our 12-week mentorship program designed to take the guesswork out of sold out and booked up launches, whether you're looking to start an online business or scale one. Okay, if this says a mentorship program, am I going to get one-on-one -on -one access with you? That's what I need to know. Are you ready for the biggest online launch and cash injection? <laughs> it's kinky. Is this program for me? Great question. Let me go over the five types of people Online Launch School is for so you can figure out if it's a fit. Number one, you don't even know what a launch is. <laughs> if I don't even know how to launch things in my business, I am not paying nearly a thousand dollars for a course to teach me on how to launch things. That is a terrible waste of money. This is preying on people who don't have any business experience. I'd wait until I'd at least felt it out on my own a little bit before I wouldn't spend big money like that. You guys, there are free business resources you can find. You can read books out there. You don't need to, if you have zero business knowledge whatsoever, start by reading some books. You can even get books at the library for free, or you can pay for books that cost, I don't know, under $20. You can get these resources for free. You can watch YouTube videos online, and maybe you will wanna pay for a paid course with more information that takes you through things and consolidates the information all into one place. I get it, you may want to do that, but don't do it as the very first thing you do. Spend the time first to figure out what you know, what you don't know, where you need to specifically focus those efforts. I hate that they're preying on people without business experience. If you're an entrepreneur to be who is armed with a killer idea for a product or service, but you have no idea what to do next. Yeah, it's like, I haven't even, I haven't even started my business. It's just an idea in my brain. It's just a thought that I have. It's just a thought, just like Savvy's a thought on the beach trying to get Instagram clout. Your launches aren't making enough sales. They're filled with more stress than success. Your product or service is not the problem. Your problem is making money from them. See, now this, I, I, I could say I wouldn't pay this much money for this program, but this does seem more like the target customer. Someone who ha already has a little bit of experience, has already been through the process a couple times, is trying to figure out how they can grow this a little bit. This one, I don't think you should be targeting people who don't know what they're doing. Let's get clear on how the online launch school is not for. It's not for you if you have no clue what type of business you wanna launch. Okay, at least they said that. <laughs> at the very least they said that. You don't have any idea what product or service you want to sell. Or if you have a brick and mortar business and don't want to make sales online. Oh, that's interesting. So this isn't for all types of businesses. Like if you're a mechanic, Boss Babes cannot help you with being a mechanic. So then they go over the modules they cover each week, which is fine. All I want to know is you call this a mentorship program. I want to know if I get one-on-one -on -one conversations with you. I want to know if you're going to answer my questions face to face. I don't want to time travel to my new reality. Imagine your first five, six, even seven figure launch. I need you to stop telling me what to imagine. I need you to tell me if I'm going to get one-on-one -on -one discussions with you. Meet your professors. All right, so these are my professors, the boss babes. They just say hi to us over here, talk about that. We've worked with 20,000 clients over the past few years. Great, good for you. It's our simple, repeatable launch process that has become essential to us so we could crush it whilst, whilst, whilst maintaining our sleep schedule sanity and serious revenue goals. And it's so easy to follow that this framework will work for you, whether you've never launched a thing in your life or whether you're a seasoned expert looking to grow to the next level. We're going to show you how to have your best launch yet without the stressed exhaustion or frustration. So if you're into that sort of thing, <laughs> again, that's kinky, we're gonna inject money into you. Are you into that sort of thing? and you're ready to put in the work we're ready to show up and bring all the knowledge okay are, are you going to give me one-on-one -on -one discussion do i get to have office hours with you do i get feedback from you personalized to my business that's what i want to know natalie and danielle still have questions we've got answers well yeah i still have one pretty big question and i want to know your answer okay okay 
Okay. How's it? What's influencer school? I guess we got to look at that next. It's a 12 week guided co coaching program designed to walk you step by step through a successful launch of your online program or service. Our other course, Influencer School, is a 12 week program designed to help you gain full clarity on your personal brand, learn how to create easy, consistent content, build an audience of engaged followers, and create a full time income from social media. Dude, I'm thinking the way to build a full time income from social media is to sell other people courses on how to build a full time income from social media. Should I sell that? Should I sell that as an idea like here give me ten thousand dollars thank you lean in lean in come here come here right here you have to do the same thing to somebody else can i get a refund if i don't like it that's a good question boss babe wholly believes in its products that's not a yes or no we believe the methods work, but only if the client is dedicated to the full process. Nevertheless, Boss Babe offers a conditional 14-day refund. I love that, conditional. For more information, please read our terms of use. So I'm getting the vibe that this is not, that they're not going to give me any one-on-one -on -one attention, that they're going to send me the materials, I'm going to have to download them myself, go through them myself, and I am never going to get their feedback which for this price is really shitty. Okay, so I can pay a one-time fee of $9.97 or a payment plan of $3.97 times three. Always gotta end it in a seven. So I still have no idea what I'll be learning in this course and I as such will not be buying it at least until after I've taken their free webinar next week. Okay, wait, so we need to find out what influencer school is. Build an Instagram presence you're proud of. They've got the Insta Influence Kit. That's $37. Get the Content Masterclass. Oh, it's the three C's here, consistency, confidence, and capital. Content Masterclass. Your social media growth will skyrocket when you pair a consistent presence with dynamic content from your confident personal brand. In our eight-part masterclass, you'll go behind the scenes into how we curate content and show up with confidence every day on our personal accounts and the Boss Babe Instagram page. There's so many buzzwords in this. I feel like I'm just taking business guru magnetic poetry and having it shoved down my throat. Influencer School. Oh, they don't even have the price listed here. I'm gonna have to learn more about Influencer School. Influencer School is the proven growth and monetization system for influencers, brands, and entrepreneurs where you'll, you'll learn to create engaging viral content, attract your ideal audience, and generate revenue organically through the power of social media. Join us in our brand new 12-week guided coaching and certification program. Certification to do what? To post on social media? I need to be certified to post on social media. Have I been doing it wrong this whole time? Have I been an unlicensed social media thought? Have I just been like an unlicensed e-girl this whole time? Excuse me, Savvy, you're under arrest for being an e-girl thought without a license. Need a license to carry those guns? Know your worth, then add tax and shipping. Isn't that a quote from someone else? It looks like it's just a common quote. I don't know who said it first. All right, let's see influencer school. Enrollment has closed. What do you mean it's closed? When are you building up that false scarcity again? Influencer school! Are you ready to start building a profitable audience on social media today and every single day after that? Oh, the Boss Babe team is here. They want to know if I have any questions. Yeah, hold up. If I sign up for your launch school, do I get one-on-one -on -one feedback? Oh, is that a typo? Yeah. Feedback from you guys as the professors. Okay, let's see if they reply. Influencer School. Join Influencer School, the 12 week self paced certification program designed to help you gain full clarity on your personal brand. brand blah, 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 blah. I can't fucking talk. You're craving real freedom. <laughs> you're sick of scrolling and watching everyone else become successful. You know you're meant for more, but honestly, the idea of doing it is confusing, overwhelming, and uncomfortable. Why are you telling me how I feel? I'm actually not sick of scrolling. I doom scroll way too hard. I actually enjoy it too much. I need to stop. You know you're meant for more. My God, so much magnetic poetry. Just, just pull it out of the, reach deep into the gaping hole of the business guru magnetic poetry bag, pull out the magnets, throw them at the fridge and see what sticks. That's what's going on here. Can you relate? No. Just like becoming a nurse or a lawyer, there's a tried and true roadmap that you follow to the destination. No, I don't think it's anything like that, actually. Those are legally regulated fields where you are required to get certain certifications for other people's safety. Whereas being an influencer is just big companies running social media platforms that can change the algorithm whenever something else is more profitable to them and you have to constantly learn and adapt to it. There's no specific training or certification you need. You just kind of got to figure it out as you go. Oh, take a peek inside our classroom. Let's see, let's see what I'm, what I'm gonna learn. And then I want to know how much this, this thing costs, dude. Knowing how to generate traffic organically and build an engaged community online is one of the most valuable skills you can have in today's economy. 
once you know- I completely agree with that. What I don't want to do is live my whole life in the same color palette, like she's doing. ...how to think about a personal brand, you'll be able to start crafting or refining yours. You see- Wait, what did that say? This is not your regular- what? This is not your regular your school? Is that what that said? Hold on. We need to- can we slow this down? This is not your regular your school. This is not your regular your school? Can you not afford a video editor with all that money? Influencer school, not your regular your school. You see, there are three stages that go into creating change. Number one is outcomes, number two is processes, and number three is identity. Most people focus on the first, outcomes, and it's likely why you're here. You want an outcome, whether that's a blue check mark next to your name, 100,000 followers, or a stable career in the creator economy. We don't want you to get confused about what to do and when, which is why in junior year, we'll give you a roadmap which will tell you exactly what to do and when to do it so that you're what to do, you're telling people exactly what to do and when to do it, but algorithms change constantly. So what's going to work best for what to do and when to do it is going to constantly change. I hope you're updating this course like every couple weeks. What I'm about to share with you in this class, I'm pretty confident will be the most valuable information you're gonna learn in Influencer School because of the impact it's gonna have on your entire life. Something that I learned very early on that allowed me to get ahead and break free from the system that keeps so many financially trapped. Oh, she's reading. Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or no, Cashflow Quadrant. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and also, I guess, the author of Cashflow Quadrant. I do not trust him. He is in favor of multi-level marketing companies. He promotes them. He speaks for them. He hangs out with Tony Robbins, who also promotes multi-level marketing companies and also is a serial sexual harasser. Tony Robbins is not Robert Kiyosaki, as far as I know. Anyway, I don't trust him. You're here to get a different version of an MBA. My version of an MBA. Magnetize, build, activate. Can we not pretend that this is a real degree? In freshman year, you'll magnetize. In sophomore year, you'll build. And in junior year, you'll activate. Is this actually going to take three years or are you just calling them years? Why not call it like freshman stage, sophomore stage? Why are you calling it years? Unless this is a really a three-year course, in which case the social media algorithms are going to change wildly in three years. Oh, and you'll also get access to our extra credit bonus classes upon completion of the initial curriculum. The reality is... We're senior year. You can have the most amazing offer in the world, but if you don't know how to attract your potential customers, then it's going to be hard to get any traction at all. Enroll now. Let's see how much this shit costs. Okay, ready to grow and monetize your social media. Influencer school curriculum, value $997. Where do you get it? Where are you getting these values from? You're saying the curriculum is valued at $997? I feel like this is like a US healthcare system inflated itemized medical bill. Like when I go to the hospital and I come back and they're like, yeah, we charged you for the saltine crackers. Your insurance should cover it. Like this is what this feels like. It's $997 value for the curriculum. The social media certification is a $299. $97 value. I'm sorry. In what market is a certification to go on social media worth $300? I run my social media with no certification right now. I'm an unlicensed e-thought and you can't stop me. How do you know that the student lounge is valued at $997? Have you ever sold these things individually for those prices? Or did you just make this shit up? Did you just pull this out of your ass? YouTube course value $1,497? I would not pay $1,500 for YouTube videos. So they valued all these things really high so that they could then pretend that it was, they were giving us a really good deal. Check this out. Total value, $12,000. No, it's not. Enroll for one payment of $997. <laughs> it's always $997. This student says, I've generated 30K through Instagram. When I started, I had approximately 500 followers and now I have 1680. Through Instagram, I have generated $30,000. How did you make $30,000 with less than 2,000 followers? Doing what? How did you possibly make that much money on Instagram? I'm very confused. I'm gonna need more details on that because I don't believe this happened. I have almost 5,000 followers on Instagram, so more than her, and I don't make any money on Instagram. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm not using it correctly. Maybe I'm because I'm not certified in social media. So I wanted to look a little further at who these two women are who founded the Boss Babe Company and why they wanted to start this company to teach other women to start companies. I was very lost, but I decided to take a look at their bios and find out who they are. So I found this blog called divineliving.com which is uh, fascinating. The Divine Living website 
uh, the person who runs it, Gina DeVee, has a book coming out called The Audacity to be Queen, The Unapologetic Art of Dreaming Big and Manifesting Your Most Fabulous Life. So this sounds like something that I would be very critical of. Gina DeVee's essential guide to queenhood is the perfect gift for every woman who dares to dream big. Gina DeVee runs this website, Divine Living. You know those big, meaningful, audacious desires you've had since you were a little girl? I'm here to take a stand for them and everything you're capable of, all down to the last glamorous detail. You have epic dreams and desires within you for a reason. You were born to make a big difference. Uh, anyway, so this lady runs a manifestation bullshit business, and she interviewed Danielle Cancy, one of the founders of Boss Babe. Queen, get ready to jump to the next level. Today my guest is Danielle Canty, the president of Boss Babe. She will share some priceless business advice on the feminine principles of collaboration and receiving. Oh shit, this is like the divine feminine, divine masculine. This is like the Jordan Peterson lobster daddy shit where it's like feminine is chaos and the masculine is order. And the feminine is collaboration and receiving and the masculine is fighting other male lobsters and standing up tall with your lobster self so that you can crush all the beta lobsters and get all of that sweet lobster P word. It's like that. Danielle is an extremely successful entrepreneur who started her, her career as a chiropractic. At 25, she was already a shareholder in one of the fastest growing primary healthcare brands in the UK, but it was in 2016 she realized she was chasing money and that, time, that the time had come for a major mindset overhaul. She's good at investing? I don't understand. Danielle and Natalie met at the Brandon Burchard event in San Diego. Of course they met at a Brandon Burchard event. I still need to cover him at some point. He's a boss bro business guru too. This whole, this, all, this, this whole industry, they're all connected. They're all, they all know each other. Natalie had an idea to build a membership society for female entrepreneurs. Danielle was instantly in love with the idea. She did her research. They hopped on her call. The rest is boss babe history. So why is boss babe capitalized here, but it's not capitalized anywhere on their actual site? Who's wrong? Who's making typos? I still don't really understand how Danielle got her start. Where did she get her money? And then here's Natalie's bio, how Natalie Ellis became a CEO before turning 25. Not many people can say they've started at least two successful businesses from scratch, worked at Buckingham Palace, lived on four different continents, and won over 11 business and entrepreneur awards. And even fewer people can say they've done all that and so much more before they're 26 years old. Well, yeah, because that's incredibly specific. Lived on four continents, like... That's not an accomplishment. Like, your parents could just have moved around a lot. You don't usually have control over where you lived. I haven't won 11 National Business and Entrepreneur Awards. I've won two local <laughs> awards in Chicago. Does that count for something? And I'm 29, so I guess I'm not as accomplished as Natalie. I have started two successful businesses from scratch. I can- well, I mean, I guess that depends how you define successful, because success is relative. I've never made six figures. So I guess I'm unsuccessful. So I guess I haven't done any of this. I've never been to Europe at all, so I can't say I've worked at Buckingham Palace. But business mogul and literal hashtag boss babe, Natalie Elliskin, CEO and founder of the largest online movement of ambitious millennial women. I don't think this is the largest online movement of ambitious millennial women. By what standards? I like this. I think her background's really cool, actually. She's talking about... Um, how when she was a teenager, she loved the idea of being a business owner. When I was 16, I petitioned for my school to have enterprise classes, and I carried that on through university, where I started an entrepreneurship society, which grew to be the biggest in the UK. Like, that's actually really cool. I'm happy that she wanted to implement that in education, because I remember, I even talked about this in my book, Savvy Business Owner, I wanted to start an entrepreneurship club at my school when I was in high school, and I never materialized it. I failed. I failed at that, and she succeeded. I think that's really awesome, and I'm... I'm impressed. Like, that's awesome. Natalie, genuinely, I think that's awesome. So then she had the idea to start my first proper company. What do, what do you mean by proper company? Why is your online business when you were 13 not count? Did you not like register it? Is that why? I don't know. Anyway, which involved manufacturing superfood supplements and selling them online. Within the space of a year of launching, we were shipping them to over 60 countries and were in over 200 stores throughout the UK, all because of Instagram. All we did was Instagram marketing and we had no budget to do paid marketing or anything like that. It was literally just these blends I started mixing in my kitchen. Then we grew so much we moved into a factory. That sounds, I don't know how things work in the UK. That sounds a little bit unregulated. That doesn't sound right. You were just mixing blends in your kitchen and then selling them online. 
You, you did, did you have a food service permit? Like, you're missing a lot. That story's missing a lot. So as we know, every true boss babe will only include positive testimonials on their website, so I wanted to look at some other reviews as well. I found this website called WealthyByDefault.com and I wanted to take a look at what they had to say as well. This is where they're talking about the influencer school, $37 a month, $997. They gave it a 60 out of 100 score, so not terrible, but not great. Recommended not for everyone. This person says, I think there are better cost-effective ways to create a profitable online business as a beginner without spending money on online ads, without creating your own products or services. What do you mean without creating your own products or services? This it sounds like you're running a scam, bud. Get my number one recommendation. Yeah, okay, you're, you're, you're sponsored by somebody. So anyway, I'm not going to go through this guy's review because he clearly has a, uh, a a bias since he has his own my best way to make money online thing linked. So I, uh, I want to look at this person's comment because the person in the comments doesn't have uh, something they're selling. Influencer School is an absolute ripoff full of garbage recycled content stolen and rebranded from other courses. I signed up to Influencer School from a webinar with Natalie where she specifically stated that if you were already an Insta Growth Accelerator, you were already going to be given access to Influencer School for free and that you could upgrade to get access to live coaching calls. So I signed up for the coaching calls as it seemed valuable. As soon as the call started, I realized it was a complete waste of time and money, but I thought I would give it a week or two to see if it was going to improve. The day after the third call, I emailed and said I wanted to cancel and get a refund of the $400 payment I'd already made. I received a response that I was one day too late and not going to be refunded. I canceled my credit card so they couldn't take any further funds for quote unquote coaching. I was then removed completely from the course after they specifically marketed on the webinar that if you were an Insta Growth Accelerator that you were being gifted access to influencer school and what you were paying for the coaching calls. So essentially they stole $400 from me as I have not received anything at all for the money I paid and they did not respond to my emails. Oof, that sounds like a pretty bad experience. It really does. Let's look at this one as well. There's another review, right? Building an online home business.com reviewing the boss babe school. This person gives it a 50 out of a hundred rating and says, no, they would not recommend it. This person says there are other identical programs that provide the same service as boss babe. You won't be running out of choices here, which is a good thing in my opinion, because it encourages these course designers to try to better their competition. So this is this person's review of the cons of it. It's a very expensive program to join. The main courses are approximately a thousand dollars each, which is a substantial sum for a single course. Refunds are a hassle while you have 14 days to ask for your money back and receive a refund. Bear in mind that you must first complete a sequence of processes before receiving your refund. One of the most difficult conditions to meet is demonstrating that you tried Boss Babe and completed the course. As a result, I believe the return policy is quite a hassle. What's worse is that if your refund request does get approved, you will receive $250 less due to their cancellation fee policy. Then this person, I believe, also is trying to sell something about how their own program for building a home business. So you gotta take all these with a grain of salt. So it's been really hard to find a variety of reviews other than the ones that they've specifically curated or ones on blogs that are also trying to sell their own similar types of programs. So I'm having a hard time finding as many honest reviews from customers as I'd like to, especially because with the SEO, searching the term boss babe and boss babe course reviews brings up a lot of like, people talking about the boss babe hustle and being a boss babe and being part of an MLM company and other things that are not related to this specific company. So it can be a little difficult. So if anyone out there has had experience with the boss babe training programs, please send me a DM, leave a comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your story. Next week, I'm going to delve into some more courses. I'm going to be delving into one of Gabby Bernstein's most disgusting and offensive courses, which I'm really, really uh, disgusted by. Wait, wait to see that. And and then I'm going to be taking Jenna Kutcher's Instagram course and showing you guys what I learned from that and talking about, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like and showing you guys my transformation into an inspirational girl boss on Instagram. Lots more business and self-help book reviews are coming soon as well on this channel. I will see you guys again on Monday on Your Morning Guru. But in the meantime, please continue supporting small businesses and have a fantastic start to your Friday. Bye. Hit you some nuts. There was lots of memes. Makes me wonder if I should take up lesbianism. Chicago. You guys asked for it.